Hey guys, it's David with Cars and Code. This is a continuation from a previous video, so if you haven't seen that, uh, click the link below and go watch that first. We're going to continue our Friction Circle app, so in this part of the, the video series, we're going to actually draw something on the screen to make stuff actually start showing up. So the first thing we're going to do is install a NuGet package to be able to, to help us do that for us. So this NuGet package is going to be called Skia Sharp. And we're going to go to skiasharp.views.forms. And we're going to install it to all three of our projects and hit the install button. Once it's finished, uh, we're going to restart Visual Studio because sometimes Visual Studio is weird about NuGet packages. And we're going to reopen our project. Once we have our app back open, we can actually start writing our code. So we're going to come in here and we're going to add a new class and we're going to call it um, Friction Circle View. In this class, we're going to make it public and it's going to inherit from SK Canvas View. So if we right click that, quick actions and refactoring, we can add our correct using in so we have this SK Canvas View. So now we're going to override a method called on paint surface, which is where we're actually going to do our painting. So what we're going to do in here, first is we're going to get to the width and height of the actual view that we're going to be drawing on. So first we're going to take e.info.width is going to be the width, and then we're going to create a new variable called surface height. I want to take e.info.info.height for that. Now what we also have to grab the actual canvas to draw on, so we'll create a new SK canvas and add the correct usings for that. We'll call this variable canvas, and that's going to be e.surface.canvas. Next, we're going to just draw a circle on the screen. So let's grab a good radius for the circle, and let's call this variable radius. And we're just going to make that the minimum of the, the height or the width. And then we're going to have to divide that by 2 because it's a radius and not a diameter. Next we're going to have to create a new paint so we actually can give this thing a color. So we're going to create a SK paint. We'll call it paint equals new SK paint. Next let's give that paint a color. Color dot black dot to SK color. So next we're going to actually draw on the canvas. So we'll do canvas dot draw circle. And then we're going to give it the coordinates that we're going to draw at. So let's draw it at the middle of, of this view. So we're going to take the surface width divided by 2. And we'll take the surface height divided by 2. Next we have to give the radius, which we calculated earlier. And then we're going to also give it the paint. So now this is our view, and we just have to add it into our app now. So we're going to come to our main page. We're going to get rid of this label. We'll create a grid to put everything inside of on our view, and then we're going to add our friction circle view. So now everything should run. So if we run on our on the Google Pixel, we will pull that up. And when we run it, we can see that we have that black circle that we drew on the screen. In the next video, we're actually going to make the friction circle so this circle actually looks like a friction circle. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.